<laughs> Welcome, Shokun and Ojo-chan. I'm your news anchor, Chip Chapman, on Channel 8 for Misty News. Today, we learn more about COVID-19 as it affects the anime industry more and more every day. Thankfully, there are plans to resume productions upcoming this July, early July, July 3rd, July 4th, most likely, where several companies will resume their production. This includes shows like Food Wars and several others. Unfortunately, there is a lot of rioting that is happening right now. We are not beyond it here at Misty News, and we are well aware that people want to be heard, and we support them fully in their endeavor, because this is a crisis that no one should have to suffer through, and we are, of course, talking about the Netflix adaptation of Cowboy Bebop. There will be making a live-action show, and that is absolutely unnecessary. The original works absolutely fine. What's this? Oh no, they're, this just in, they're telling us they're gonna do their best. We know it won't be enough, but we'll give them a chance anyway, because, I mean, we can't really stop them. Now, if you're looking for some true uplifting news, there are several shows that are coming our way for this summer. One of which is, of course, Rent a Girlfriend, an anime about a guy that has a dying grandmother and he must pretend to have a girlfriend to appease her in her lasting days. Unfortunately, uh, he's not a smooth talker, so he hired one. Ergo the title, Rent a Girlfriend. The anime is based on a manga that is uh, well acclaimed, so you can expect some tremendous success out of the show coming up. Your doorstep on this summer's time. That is not to mention, of course, that lately, I mean, just a few days ago, they released the brand new trailer for Attack on Titan Season 4, which will be the last one, if you're not aware. It will be absolutely tremendous, so prepare yourself for this outstanding take on the finale. It will be, however, be done by MAPPA Studio instead of WIT Studio, which is a huge blowback, they thought, but then they released the trailer and were like, yeah, okay, they still got it. Everything's under control, everything's gonna be fine, nobody's gonna be injured. Unfortunately, we can't say the same for Peter Grill and the Philosopher Time. If you have not heard of this title yet, it is another one coming out to you this summer, and oh boy, oh lord, oh dear, it will be horrific. I cannot stress this enough, please do stay away, because this is a show about a guy who has been the hero of the people for centuries, I mean, maybe not that long, but for, for a good time, and therefore every single girl wants a seed to pr produce smaller heroes. I think that's what they're going for, I cannot be certain of it. It will be absolutely abysmal. I can tell you right now. But worry not, my fans of Echi, if you're looking for one that will absolutely spin your gears, then you can expect some great things coming from Doku Hentai Heroes. Another one about heroes, but this one with uh, more beautiful girls. This is what you're looking for. Check out the trailer, it's gonna be outstanding. Are you still not appeased by all this lewdness? Then can feast your eyes on this wonderful spin-off of Monster Girl Doctor. It's Monster Musume meets Doctor. I mean, that's the take they're going for. I cannot tell you more about it. It will be uh, kind of... Uh. It has not been done by the same author that did Monster Musume, but it is from a group of people that are doing a collaboration on the take of Monster Girls. Look. Don't worry too much about it, try it out if it's your thing, otherwise just, we're gonna put it under a rug and no one's gonna mention it ever again, okay? And now for our segment with our local wetter girl, Fimble Vetter, Mary Wetter. Take it away, Fimmy. Thank you, Chip. By the way, your mustache looks stupid like this. You think my mustache looks stupid? Why don't you ask your sister? W what do you mean, my sister? I'm an only child. Yeah, how about you ask your mother in nine months from now? Never mind that. Now, currently outside, it is currently 26, it is very warm, so make sure to wear a lot of sunscreen. If you are looking for the evening, there will be slight rain and a little bit of shower that will just cool off everything. It'll be fantastic, you'll see. In terms of after the rain, it will be getting an English dub. If you have been expecting it, it'll be fantastic, don't worry about it. If you are looking towards Japan now, you will find out that 
Wittering with you is coming out for a global launch in September. I believe it will be the 15th of December, so get ready for a really wet time. Now, back to you in studio. And now in our book department. If you are a fan of manga, you can expect great things coming to you this summer, one of which is coming from the author of Peach Girl, with a brand new title called Even So My Dear Wife, a story about a guy who had a stroke and his wife has been taking good care of him ever since then. You can expect some wholesomeness and some tear-jerking moments out of this tale. If you are a fan of Cells at Work, you can also praise the stars, because they are doing not one, not two, not three, not four, I mean maybe four, spin-offs. And here they are. First of all, in this upcoming December, I mean January, there will be a brand new anime called Cells at Work Black. This will be absolutely great. It will tell the tales of uh, the, the cells, except instead there will be in a very hostile body. Someone that smokes to have unprotected sex and several other cases. If you're not into that, the spinoff, then you can have great things coming from the manga side, where you will have cells at work, bacteria, where they are all fighting inside the intestines. If this does not work for you, then how about some lolly moe chibi? That's right, a spin-off for the platelet chance. Absolutely endearing. You will melt your heart on it. And if this is still not taking it away, then how about cells at work, baby? Yes, that's right, you heard me right. Can you imagine platelet in a baby? Absolutely ludicrous. As we wrap things up on the book department, there will also be a very sad news. Hina Matsuri, the manga, will come to an end on July 15. This will be the final chapter until the series is put to a rest. Now we go to sports with our sports anchor, Colt Fletcher. Please, Colt, tell us more about the sports anime coming this season. Oh uh, yes, I mean sports, there's, there's no really sports anime this season, I mean, and then there's the summer, there's going to be the, the God of High School, which is martial arts, but it's, people wouldn't consider that a sport, would they? So, well, I guess, back to you, studio! Haha, <laughs> Colt is such a card, he's always kidding. Now. In the gaming department, you can expect some great things from the indie side. I'm talking about Gunfire Reborn. It is a brand new title coming straight from Hong Kong that has a Japanese-ish theme to it about um, some cats and dogs fighting terracotta army. Uh, it, they're samurai themed, so we count it as anime related. Uh, it's a fantastic game. But if you'd like a different type of roguelike game, then you can try One Step From Eden, a game that is pretty recent, that mixes the gameplay of Mega Man Battle Network into some very fast-paced action sequence. You have to play around the field, dodge the slews of enemies that comes your way, and just take your way through victory. It is a fantastic time, and I had a great blast. It reminds me a lot of that time in my youth when I used to play Mega Man Battle Network. A brand new newcomer has hit the scene with a overwhelming amount of positive review. It is called Helltaker. It is also on Steam, a fantastic game that is free to play. So if you have been stingy on your money, then you can try this one out for free. It is a overwhelmingly good experience. If you're looking for some more hidden gems, then you can try your hands on Library of Ruina. It is a outstanding take on the puzzle side and also some type of visual novel experience at the same time. It has some great puzzling to do, so you can try this one out. If not, then you can also try Troubleshooter Abandoned Children. It is an XCOM-like experience tactical game with incredible animation and it is um, a little bit cheaper than Chimera Squad, which is pretty recent as well. So if you've been looking for something more low-key that has not been talked about much, but it's still a great time, then I recommend you try out Troubleshooter Abandoned Children. Now, if you're looking for some mainstream news on the gaming department, you should be aware that Sega, that's right, Sega, haven't heard about them for a while, they're coming out with a brand new game console, that's right, it's a Micro Game Gear, mm-hmm, you heard this right, Micro Game Gear, it fits in the palm of your hand, so you have to squint a lot to watch it. I don't get it. 
I'm old, I need my glasses, I don't see on tiny stuff. My phone is a big tablet, it has an antenna on it. It's stupid, I, I don't get it. And finally, the last one we have to cover is the brand new game coming next week, Sword Art Online Licorice. You heard that, right? It is the seventh, I want to say, game on the market about SAO. If you hadn't had enough yet. However, I will praise it on one good feature they have provided us with character customization. I will play this purely for the character customization and nothing else. Unfortunately, we must take a change of tone for the upcoming news uh, because they are quite tragic in their nature. There has been a man arrested for uttering threats to an anime director, one of which who have made the anime Kemino Friends. Um, Considering the last attempts that have been made in Japan, these threats are not to be taken lightly. Uh, there's been the awful crisis with the um, burning of one anime studio, and uh, we have absolutely no sympathy for these kind of things. And finally, uh, regarding the Black Lives Matter movement, we here at Misty News support it wholeheartedly. If you needed a comment from us here, uh, we are pro-movement, we are pro-getting things done and getting things changed for the better. For everyone. Everyone should be able to enjoy anime to their best content possible without any fear or restriction whatsoever. So, to these people, we stand by you. And um, I, I think it goes beyond saying that uh, also several companies do the same. You have heard from Square Enix or the Pokemon companies and multiple other ones that are just supporting the movement. We are too. So thank you so much for tuning in to Misty News, the pilot episode. Stay tuned for 11 p.m. as we will do our recap. Not really, but it sounds cool. We hope you've enjoyed this premiere of Misty News. If you have a good time, please leave a comment in the section below to tell us about it. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe, leaving that notification bell quite fully on. That's important for us, so we can reach you for the freshly news that we have to talk about. You can also go on Twitter and leave the hashtag Misty News to hit us with the things you would like us to cover next time. Thank you so much for watching. We are signing out. Have a great evening. Turns a bit on the wrong side, I've been ashamed So many memories, you know I'd like to change yeah.